in this video, I'm going to sh I'm going to go over how you can style a map using Mapbox, and then I'm going to show you how you can use Mapbox to visualize data sets. Uh, so we're going to create a new style. Uh, so under new style, um, uh, Mapbox comes up with a bunch of uh, different templates, but we're going to um, start from scratch. So select blank and customize blank. Uh, so you'll see that uh, uh, blank um, viewport will appear and uh, you have a layers panel in the sidebar. Uh, we're just going to create a new layer here and um, we're going to add some water uh, to the map to uh, to see the outline of the land. So um, let's go into source and uh, Mapbox has a pretty good um, tile set called Mapbox Streets V8. Uh, so under here, we're going to um, just add some water. And I will see uh, the outline of the land. So I'm just going to zoom into Melbourne where I'm going to be working. And uh, you can um, just get an idea of what the map will look like by clicking style. And I'm just going to change this to a pale grayish blue. Okay, that'll do. Um, and we're just going to add some more layers to um, to this map. So uh, first, I'm going to add a background um, so that we can uh, we have a color for the um, for the land. So I'm just going to drag this underneath the water, and I'm going to change it to slightly lighter gray. Okay, now we're just going to uh, continue adding some um, layers to. Uh, this map and all of the layers that we're going to use are from the Mapbox Streets V8 tile set. Uh, so I'm just going to go um, to add a new layer and go back to Mapbox Streets V8 and we're going to add some roads now. Uh, so um, underneath filter we can uh, we can create a filter and I'm going to filter the roads by class. Uh, so I can um, edit this and uh, here I'm going to add some primary roads, um, uh, secondary roads, primary links and secondary links. Uh, so I'm just going to um, find primary link, here we go. Okay, so um, now that we've done that, we can, uh, we can style uh, the data and I'm going to, I'm going to make it uh, slightly lighter gray. And um, just going to um, change the width. Uh, so we can actually change the width according to the zoom range. Um, so what I'm going to uh, do here is um, change um, uh, the width according to the zoom range. So when it's um, zoomed in as, uh, when it's not zoomed in at all, uh, we're gonna keep it as one pixel. Um, so I'll click uh, done and when it's uh, zoomed in completely, we're going to make it uh, two pixels. So click done here, and uh, you'll see that as we uh, zoom out, um, the width is uh, slightly thinner, and as we zoom in, it's uh, thicker, just um, so that it changes relative to uh, to the map. Um, okay, so now we're just going to continue adding um, some more uh, layers. So I'm going to I'm going to add some streets now. Uh, so go on to Mapbox Streets V8 and uh, roads and this time filter it um, by class again and we're going to uh, edit and add streets. So uh, when we go on uh, style now I'm just going to uh, change the color to slightly darker gray so as we zoom in we'll be able to um, see these and just uh, want to make this slightly thinner so I'm going to make it Point five. Okay. Um, great. So now that we've uh, now that we've added uh, streets to our map, uh, we're just going to add place labels to um, just so that we know where we are on the map. So um, again, add a new layer, and this is also on the same tile set. We're going to go into place label now. Um, all right, so under uh, under type, just to make sure you uh, select text. Um, and uh, we can just go straight to um, straight to the uh, style. Um, and uh, we have to insert a data field first. So under data field, we're gonna just select name. And uh, there we go. And um, now you'll see that um, some of the place labels have appeared. I'm just going to make it white so it's more visible. OK, 
okay. And I'm going to um, change the size. So this can also be, um, the size can also be changed according to uh, zoom range, but we're just going to make it 10. Okay, so um, you can uh, also change it so it uh, so the post labels are underneath the roads, but we're going to you know, just keep it uh, for now. Okay, so now that we've got a um, pretty basic um, map style, uh, we're going to um, I'm going to show you how you can visualize data, uh, visualize data sets in uh, Mapbox. So um, again, we're going to create a new layer, and I'm going to um, I'm going to add I'm going to add um, a data set um, data set here. So uh, what we can do is upload um, existing data that we um, that we have. So you can just simply drag and drop um, a KML, a JPX, GPX, GeoJSON, or a shapefile, which is what we're going to do, or a CSV, um, into this window here. So I'm just going to um, upload a, a data set that I previously downloaded from Orin. And this data set is um, population density in, um, um, in Melbourne. So I'm just going to, uh, so once that's done, you can click confirm and it will start uploading. Just take a minute to process. There we go. Okay, so now we can um, now we can uh, visualize this data. So you should see it under sources. So it's um, uh, this one that was uploaded a few seconds ago. So yeah. Going to visualize it here. Okay. Um, so now um, underneath uh, style. Uh, so you'll see that um, it's just um, completely filled in uh, blank, but we're going to style it across data range. So because this data is uh, representing population in uh, different local government areas, we're going to change the colors according to um, according to um, population figures. So um, I'm just going to do a darker color for areas with uh, high population and lighter colors for areas with a low population. So um, here we're just going to style across uh, data range, uh, population density. And So what we can do is create a lighter color for uh, the areas with um, a lower population, and uh, and we can just um, uh, click this one here, and um, the areas with uh, higher population, uh, darker color. So when you're happy with the uh, result, uh, just click done and. Um, as um, as I've sh shown you before, you can uh, just drag the layers underneath um, existing layers. I'm just going to um, going to drag this one underneath water, and there you go. Now um, the local government areas with a lower population density are. Um, filled in lighter colors and uh, places with a higher population density are, um, are darker. 